Okay, welcome to the Windows 8 Factory Reset Guide. This reset is universal for all Windows 8 machines. First, when you're on your start screen or desktop, you open up the charm bar by pressing the Windows key and C, or moving your cursor into the lower right corner. Next, select Settings, then change PC settings. This opens a new window, like so. From the list on the left hand side, choose the general heading. If you then scroll all the way down to the bottom in the right hand panel, you reach the various recovery options. If your machine keeps crashing or doesn't seem to be working properly, you can use the refresh your PC option, which should reset the operating system without wiping your user data, which is handy. For this guide, we'll be using the remove everything and reinstall Windows option. This resets the OS to factory defaults and removes all user data, so be sure to back up your files before performing this option. Advanced Startup gives the option to boot from recovery media like a DVD or a pen drive, and you can also change BIOS settings. So, for a full reset, uh, go to Remove Everything and Reinstall Windows and click Get Started. Okay, it gives you a quick summary, and then click Next. It's a good idea to make sure your system's connected to a power source throughout this process. Uh, if you lose battery power in the middle of the reset, it causes problems. So keep your machine plugged in throughout. Okay, here it gives you two options. The first is quicker, but means that some data can be recovered from the hard drive with the right tools. Uh, the second takes much longer and does a full format of the hard drive. For most users, the first option, just remove my files, is more than enough. When you're ready to begin, click Reset and your machine will reboot a minute or two later. Okay, so here we are partway through the reset after the machine's rebooted itself. If your system seems to stick at a certain percentage, you may need to leave it a while to finish the process. Just make sure it's left plugged in throughout. And now you can see the reset is complete. As you can see, the system is now asking for default setup options such as language and creating a user account. We hope this guide's been helpful. If you have any problems with this process or any further questions, please contact our customer service department for additional advice.